to get straight into it, man. Actually, the joint that we just played was off your new project. Less Life. Less Life. Dropping tomorrow. I forgot. It sure is dropping tomorrow, bro. Yes, sir. For real, for real. Yes, sir. So this is just the promo run for it. Ooh. Letting the world know what's arriving. Okay. It's months in the months in the process. So much calculation that went into it. We just changed up everything, our whole strategy. So we're just so excited to announce this to the world. Yeah. It's going to be something game-changing. I'm so wrong. I didn't even say his name yet, man. You got Zeus in the building. I can't, I can't blame you. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't even know my name anymore. Nah. Like, what, what should be your name? What, what, what you're most known for? Or what, you know what I'm saying? Or man, you, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I've, been, I've been, I know you since Zeus. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And you know, and I and that's that's who that's who I support. I support Zeus. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Exactly. You the hom you the homie. Exactly. But we and you we we go all the way back to HCC. You feel <laughs> me? That's that's where we go back. Yes, so sir. I mean, I mean, so how we? I want to go ahead and get get all the way back. And, and either way, it still coincide because it's sixty minutes of you. <laughs> you feel me? So, but still. Um, that's good, man. I, I mean, I have a lot to say. This is my first official interview since this whole. Drake clone phase, but, um, since any, you know, kind of major attention, so I get to, like, you know, lay it out for people, um, because right now a lot of people are just confused about, like, what's really going on. And that's what, you know, we had a long talk. I'm going to say this from a homie perspective. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad we was able to have that sit down. Yeah. Exactly. You feel me? I'll yeah. support you 100. Yeah. I, for real, because what you're doing, man, I, I, see, I see the numbers going up. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, um... With you breaking everything down, bro, I, I see it. Yeah, I see everything it's all aligning. Just calculations. You, and you know what they? It's kind of like, um, and I'm taking this back from when uh, Kanye did like 808s and heartbreaks and stuff, okay. heartbreaks and stuff like that. Yeah, but people didn't see what he was doing. Yeah, they didn't get it because the vision was too advanced. It was, it was too far it was ahead. Too ahead. And then 2015, it 2014. Became normal the industry. You, you know? feel me? So I mean, and that, and that's the best comparison I have have to what was breaking wow. down to well, me right now. That's funny because, I mean, that was my most influential, one of my most influential albums, uh, 808 and Heartbreaks, because that's when, you know, when it, that's when it became the norm, or started to become the norm of, you know, being able to sing, even if you're just a rapper, you don't have the greatest vocals, it became more about melody, yeah. more than, you know, your actual technical skills at being a vocalist. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I mean, people say it's been washing down the game, but, to me, I mean, it brings everybody to a higher standard of music. Like you have to create something out out your comfort zone because now you have to sing, you have to be revealing to the world. And um, I mean, I always thank Drake for that because he was the guy who really, you know, made that an industry standard. And even though Kanye laid those blueprints out, he took it to a whole nother level. Go ahead, stay on. Go what up, good? What up, good music? <laughs> what you signed on? Um, I mean, there's a, it's a, it's definitely yeah one of our places of, you know what I'm saying, that we trying to go to, so, yeah, I mean, I would, okay. if, if nobody else was to offer, you know, within a, a certain amount of time before the, any worldwide buzz gets on us of recognition. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm open right now Cause for all offers. Because the reason is you. It is, like, mm -hmm. be like two, three other people at a time, time again. The yes, whole squad is tight, man. Y'all all yeah. together. DG, Digital Grind. Yeah. The label, Digital Grind Records. DigitalGrindRecords.com. Yeah. You know, the, the label's up and running. It's on the come up, but we already have every, we have things established. Now we're just waiting for a major funding mm. to, to know, you know, to reach our full capabilities. Yeah, I have stuff written out on the wall. Like, hey, we doing this. You feel me? Yeah. Like, 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 y'all got the game organization. Or, like there. You feel me? I said I want. Ike, Ike is the one who set that. You mm. know, set that way for us, and we all just kind of took that work ethic and, you know, what I'm saying implemented it to our own lives. Now yeah. I'm way more organized. I have a flash drive. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> worth of a hundred gigs of straight notes. Like, that's real. And everything is just so organized. It's like that's the that's the foundation of a real successful business. You can't just be, you know, what I'm saying all all over the place. All right. You, you know what? Know. 
I want to take it. I want to take it all the way back before you met Ike. Before digital. Mm -hmm. Let's get in. Let's get in your beginnings. When I was Hector. When I was, <laughs> I was just Hector. <laughs> I didn't have no artist thing. Yeah. <laughs> What you want? What you want to well, talk what, about? What was you doing before the music? Music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was real. never. It was That's music real. for me was never a decision. It was like I was always surrounded by it. Mm. I was always just writing lyrics. Like maybe it wasn't full verses, but just little by little. Like I just I grew. I I didn't just like became. I, I was already this. Like. There's never been a point in life where I, where I wanted a career change. There's never been, even even when I did go to, go to college, which I really didn't want to, I chose something that would still kind of benefit what I was going for, which was music. Okay. So I was just always making music, man. There was no other choice for me ever. Okay. I want to go, okay, what you saying now? At what point did you realize, like, okay, I want to Professional. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So I'm going to take it to the point where I was able to for my first time I got an opportunity from my cousin mm -hmm. um, he opened up his studio when I was around when I was in like ninth grade maybe eighth grade summer I, I started going to his studio and he let me he opened the door for me to be able to record at least one song which which my longtime friend Max Mike um, he's been producing my beat since I was 16 he gave me a beat we made a song he asked tell us about the time you did spend in school at ACC and stuff like okay. oh did you go somewhere else too yeah I went to Lone Star before that okay. um what I was what I was going for there was like business like marketing administration or something I picked up yeah I, I like going to school it didn't all go to waste even though my grades didn't reflect it mm -hmm. <laughs> like I picked up what I needed like I learned how to use applications like Excel which would work help me organize my songs later on when I'm just developing my whole catalog organizing the different ISRC codes, UPC codes and all that. So I picked up like, you know what I'm saying, basic things on Word, like I picked up things that I needed and even though I didn't do great at the class, like, you know. Um and then so yeah, no start <laughs> it, it didn't work out too well. So I switched to ACC. I was like maybe if I'm a little closer to where I wanna get, I'll be more inspired to actually do good in class study, you know. So I went to ACC and <laughs> I mean, before you get to the real music, you gotta get through the basics, which is, you know, science and math, my worst, like, my worst subjects in school, always. I so I was just like, nah, this, this ain't, I wanna be the guy behind the microphone, like, yeah. not, not inside, like, engineering stuff. So I just stuck to what, you know? Like, I was lucky enough to see you when you was just yeah. Zeus, like, just chilling yeah. at ACC, you yeah. feel me? Most people, in addition to you now, might just be, is the Drake clone mm -hmm. and stuff like that getting exactly. numbers and exactly. they thinking like okay he decided to do this one thing and now he got these numbers yeah you get what I'm saying yeah I know I know exactly what you mean I'm gonna tell the world that not one single strategy works for everybody just because my thing worked for me doesn't mean you can you can go call yourself the Drake clone and try to imitate him and you're gonna get millions of streams it's not gonna work for everybody and I'm sorry to really cut you no, off you bro no, 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 no. oh no he was telling me that uh, the project right before it did. Last minute too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, last minute too, yeah. I mean, the success from there compared to any previous body of work yeah. was, I mean, out of the, out of here, like, um, the numbers, the single the single sales, the streams, everything was, like, way more profitable than anything ever. Even though, I mean, comp I mean compared to Less Lives, not going to be nothing. Like, I'm not, I'm not here bragging about those numbers, but just in comparison to what, what was before, I can see the process and I can see that the formula is clearly working. So why would I ever, you know, shift from it? And, th and this next body work is completely catered to these singles that actually was more successful than the whole body of work I dropped before. And you know, and, and I'm sorry, yeah. you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I was it's still doing, like, I was still doing good, you know, because my promotion, I mean, in my social media marketing game, like, yeah, is is on a hundred. So like, I was always, I was always promoting, pushing. I, I've been reading these these notes from my books that I read about the industry. So I've been following those guidelines. It's just a, a technique. This Draco technique. After that, like, it was a massive explosion. I mean, if you see the graphs, like, the graphs from like analytics, you you're gonna see like the years, the differences. It's gonna go from this to like straight straight up. It's yeah. gonna go straight to like straight up. Let me check out my graphs of any on any platform.
So I wanna ask you this, and I know, and I know we kind of touched on it earlier. We just actually just moved from it, mm -hmm. but, if, but if you can get in specifically, like two to three things that didn't work out. Like man, I tried yeah, this. And this was like an epic fail. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go with the major features that we gotten so far, which is the legendary K Reno and DJ Chose, mm -hmm. the producer, kind of producer. So yeah, I mean we had the same expectations every time. These were just different techniques that just ultimately failed, but they failed because they didn't. Uh, they only they only failed because they fell short of our expectations. So by failure, I'm, I'm not meaning like they didn't get thousands of like streams or it's people like seen it because each one for its time broke a new record that I've never done. Right. So it was like it was a fail, <laughs> but it wasn't. So. Yeah, each time this song, we reach the point where we, we realize we need to move on to the next thing, to the next single, to the next phase. Like that was the point where we learned from our failures and we adjusted to to the we adjusted to what went wrong and then we try to fix it and then move on to the next one. And with the DJ chose one, I mean it didn't we, we started realizing what exactly what you need to make a single like, you know, blow up blow up or get up there. So like we moved on from that, and then ultimately we landed in the Drake phase, and we haven't looked back. So there's, but before that, there's been many, many failures. There's been personal failures in my life, artistic failures. That you needed those low moments, um, even even more than the wins, because the wins are just um, they're just the fruits of of, of the, your labor. They yeah. they just they come and. When, when you don't expect it. Like all my wins this year, they come at a time where I've never expected them. They come in the moment of where I was like thinking about the failure and what went wrong. And then the win came and we were like, wait, maybe this wasn't a failure. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of hard to pinpoint those things, but definitely those failures. We, we had multiple failures that kind of like flared us up to the point where we're like, we're gonna go hard at this. Like, like, um, like a cash money phone call that just didn't go right. Like we used that and we were like, you know what? Uh, within a year, we're gonna have every record label calling us. So yeah. that that failure kind of you know um, inflamed us to do even more. How we own it? I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Who made you decide twenty tracks? Um, well, we're following the blueprint of Drake's More Life, mm -hmm. and his was a. I mean, it, it seemed like an extended playlist. It was how many tracks? Like twenty two tracks. Yeah. So like we were, we already knew off the top we had to, we had to come with a big body of work, just to, to get as accurately as close as possible to his, um, his project. So, sixteen of the tracks are um, actually my songs, and the rest were like, um, just one artist on it. Like my father's on it; he has his yeah. own song, and um, Ike's cousin's also on it. He has his own song, Levi. Um, and yeah, the rest, the rest are just me. Um, we only have like two features on it. It's on some J. Cole solo platinum type stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big body work. It's not my first. I've had bigger. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I've had bigger. So like one that was bigger than that one. So mm -hmm. I want to talk about your team. Oh, yeah. How y'all met? You feel me? Like for real? And, and, and. And at one point you realize like, okay, yeah, this 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 my home. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know, like I, I you know, we gotta we gotta go ahead and do this. Bro. <laughs> I don't wanna do this with no, nobody else, bro. It gotta be us. You good, you good. Yeah. <laughs> um well I guess we can start with the one I met like the longest time ago, which is uh Michael Gallego, Max Mike. Um we 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 were at a church we found each other at a church. We had similar friends, and they kind of recommended us to each other because they knew I made music. I mean, I rapped. I mean, at the time I wasn't recording. They just knew I had a passion for it, and they knew he had um, he can make beats. So they kind of linked us up. And since then, we've been just really good friends. Um, he's definitely just part of the team because he's been part of every album. He's like my forty. Um, That's real. So. He's been part of everything since the beginning, so that's definitely part of the team. Then we have Ike. We met. I, we met when I was a freshman. Um, we used to play a lot of basketball. He used to tell me like he used to just freshman in high school. Yeah, freshman in high yeah. school. So um, 
<laughs> we used to play basketball at the gym, and he used to just tell me like all these crazy theories and everything about the uh, the, the industry, and I just never met nobody with a mentality like that. And really, like every I had to tell all my friends, I was like, "Bro, you gotta meet this guy." Like, yeah. like he's he's onto something. <laughs> so it was like so. Ever since then, he's changed my life like artistically and like um, just as a person, helped me, you know, uh, regain maybe my confidence or or just. Um, just help me in the right direction for certain things in my life so you know it's more than just um, a teammate um, so he's like the head coach <laughs> yeah but and yeah yeah I mean I'm, I'm, I'm okay yeah you know it's never um it was friendship before like profession yeah. so so it was it's, it's realer it's not like we found each other just because you know we yeah. linked well, like in the business relationship. Everybody, like, so it helps everybody. You got me said, no, but you know, I feel that superstar is, you, know, you have to change and everything. You know, I never got, I never, oh, you know, oh, I never was with Zeus. Oh, we oh, had the chains on and everything. Oh, you feel oh, me? That's oh, that superstar. We got all OVO gear. Okay. So, you know, we representing right now. What up, Toronto? What up, OVO? What up, Oliver? You know, and actually, when I mean, y'all had the people from from the camp here hit y'all up, man. Yeah, we got featured on. I mean, on the podcast, it's just it's just crazy to be a Houston artist and actually get on OVO Sound Radio. Doesn't it doesn't even sound real? And how I found out, I mean, I I had random fans here. Got two yo. features. Yeah, two, two exactly. So gotta let them know this ain't a one time. <laughs> this ain't a one random stumbled about it. It was something that remained in their head. And they're like, you know what? Let's bring it back. And one of them was two days after my birthday, so mm. I love y'all. Thank you. Oh, that was, a, that, that was a birthday gift. Yeah, thank y'all. <laughs> also, shout out to Davis for, you know, mixing this project at a record, record time for, for it has to be a record, Guinness record or something. Just, he, he produced a, a, a night 20 song, 20 song project in, I mean, how many hours? Oh, would y'all mix this in a day or something? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Literally, if you put the hours together, yeah. I mean, it'll be less than a day. Yeah. So it was. We gonna. I, I was about to spill. I was about to spill what we talked about, bro. Nah. And, that, and let me go ahead and get into it. Cause I already put it out there. I know me and you was talking. Yeah. On a uh, on a producer producer no stuff like. Oh that. yeah. Okay. Which 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 is. Oh, not, bro. Trust, there's, trust. there's producers online that are watching this definitely and they're trying to maybe imitate or take blueprints. Oh, man. So, they, they, trust, trust, trust me, they're they not going to be able to Im Im imitate what you know. So, I, I mean, I just want them to know. They ain't saying, oh, Lord, you know what? Nah, you good, man. Should the, you know, I, the change, man, like, <laughs> it's just so cold. Shiny. You feel me? <laughs> Gotta be like, Lord, have mercy, man. I'm trying to get my words to get it. I feel the bird. Yeah. You feel me? I feel the bird. <laughs> But uh, right now it, it is it is a little bit cold and it's unusual. Now I'm thinking about it, like, I'm glad I got my jacket on today. The Toronto weather, I'm, you, you feel? You I'm fitted for it. Hey, you know we got the jackets on today. I got my merch on. You got the old <laughs> girl on. You feel? Let me button up, man. Let me let me get myself together. You know, every time me yeah. and Zeus link up, yeah. I'm always like. Chris, that when when I brought up earlier that I was seeing the stuff on the wall, they plant. I'm not gonna talk about the specifics of what I saw, so because mm -hmm. I believe in. Like what, like, like whatever's your plan, mm -hmm. people don't need to know your plan. Yeah. One thing I do want to stress is that y'all got, like, y'all got a plan. Like, and I seen it. Mm -hmm. It just, it just the fact that I was seeing stuff like so detailed. And there ain't no short term plans. Yeah. These are long, long, long terms. And like y'all got stuff planned that I'm not gonna say for how long, but yeah. I'm just saying like years. Exactly. It, it ain't like a five month plan. <laughs> you get what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Like that's, and, and I'm stressing that because so many artists think, okay, so when when I seen that. And seeing everything, bro, I was like, I was very, very, I was happy. I was like, okay, this is why I miss this man. This is why I miss yeah. this man. Yeah. But, uh, but um, Project Pacifically, 20 tracks. Uh, one we played early. Which one we played early? Manchester? Yeah, Manchester. Talk about that record real quick, how that came about. So, I mean, the blueprint, once again, was more life. And on more life, I noticed that, you know, he was just trying different cultural styles. So we kind of went, we were trying to touch on, we were trying to see how many regions we can touch, how many countries. So, I mean, he has a song called Guy Chester on More Life. Mm -hmm. 
and we kind of made the spin off Manchester and I mean that's obviously European so on the song on the record you can hear me you can hear little European accents come out you know just for the just for the sake of theatrics so um, yeah the, it's catered to the European audience the song it's very short um, it's a nice record not not so single unless people just fall in love with it not a single type but yeah what's some of your favorite joints man um, I just, no and I asked that because I'm more like it is a lot of different styles man. exactly you know and I'm saying I'm saying this from the perspective of you know every track I, I when I went to it track by track it was don't get me wrong it all messed together mm -hmm. But it's like, I, I I saw what you was doing, and you broke it down to me, like, this is what I'm doing here, this is what I'm doing there. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to hear, man, what's, what's some of your favorite joints, man? Um, they got you to that point to where, like, <laughs> oh, man, I'm doing all this different. You exactly. It's like it's like choosing what's your favorite kid. like. Okay. Um, you don't have to choose a I favorite. Can, I, I can choose my, my top from each, like from either the rap, because cause if you break this project down, you can stick to either the rapping side of, of this project or like the more melodic singing side. It's really that big of a project. It's like two EPs combined. It is. So from the rapping world, I mean, I love Shooting Star because it was the longest like verse on the project and just like, I just fell in love with the hook. It just sounds like a gloomy, dark song. And I mean, I'm taking, I'm taking shots at certain people that I mean I'm not I'm not gonna say on the record right now but they'll be able to decipher it my fans and for the singing side um, I have to say Island Girl just cuz I'm Cuban American and it's just such a good feeling song like you just feel like you're in the Caribbean already it's gonna be catered to my my tropical women my everybody from the Caribbean anybody from my island you know it's catered to that kind of lifestyle so those are my two favorites oh that's like my introduction you feel me damn what I, these type of questions are so hard for me i just i feel so mentally entangled when i'm when i have to oh. think but right now i mean i love anything drake's drop nails the talent to the world that it appeals to like this kind of audience that's going to be able to keep me afloat mm. um, it's going to be the project where I find my audience because it's not it it's not too far off from my Zeus things my okay. Zeus type of music you know it's not to the point where it's like a drastic day and light type of drastic change so I'll be able to draw them back into my Zeus that's my that's my theory no man I mean I heard this you know what we're gonna get into it in just a minute because I got closer to my dreams playing because you are getting closer bro yeah I feel like it man I've never been closer I've, I literally, even though these things seem like nothing, like, I mean, they are in, you know what I'm saying, comparisons to other people, but compared to where we're trying to go, like, they're not, like, 100K in a month or something, 100K streams, it, it just seems, like, average now, like, now I want more, like, so it's like, I'm getting satisfied with things, but I'm only getting hungrier, so it's going to take more and more. I mean, I get exactly what you're saying. You appreciate where you at, but you know so much more out there. I can't pop champagne, like, every time my song breaks 100k or 200k 300k like it's like we just got to keep working keep building on it yeah so we know we're there so man well, hey i'm gonna go ahead and let this joint play real quick we're gonna come right back all right for sure man. let's get it i feel like we have enough because because the majority of the time i know we spent on really just just you we didn't even really get a chance to get into music but i do feel like with this project it was a lot of you and, then, and I keep saying backstory with the whole breakdown is because when you was just playing to me at first, and I want people to know I wasn't getting it. Uh huh. And you know I wasn't getting it. Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't exactly. getting it because I was looking. That's when we got had the whole debate exactly. in the room. Like, what's up? That backstory I mean? gives you a, a, a fresh new perspective and outlook on it. And once you know that backstory, everything just be, it, it gets into the place, like into the right place that it was supposed to be put in. Like mentally, you get it, you understand it. If you just listen to it like blindly like that, you be like, who the, who's this kid? Who's this parody guy? Or like, or if, if you can tell it's not Drake, you can be like, who is this guy? Yeah, because yeah, some people. Because it's it's really hard. Like believe it or not, it's really hard for people to 
I mean, you <laughs> differentiate online people like overseas, food. these foreign people, they can't differentiate they can't our voices. Okay. Dang. Well, before we go, Project, well, we not going right at this, but I do want to mention this. Mm -hmm. Project dropping tomorrow. Oh, yeah. What time? Dropping tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm checking with my distributors. But it's going to be available everywhere. iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Deezer, Google Play, Amazon Music, everything. Check it out. It's going to be on YouTube, too. Um, Shazam me if you have a chance, please. Um, physical copies are coming out in about a week. We're going to have those available for shipping um, or if you just want to meet up. Uh, we got a lot of things planned, a lot of things lined up for the people. So y'all go check out. Uh, less life tomorrow. It's gonna. It also, the title name is gonna be more life slash less life when you look it up. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. The whole team's excited. Uh, your social media. Uh, social media. Yeah. Instagram, DG Zeus. Well, everything nowadays is DG Zeus except for my Instagram. Actually, my Instagram is the Drake clone. Again, that's okay. the Drake clone. Um, everything else you can look me up under DG Zeus. Uh, everything else is considered. Can you explain still in views real quick? Um, still in views, it's I mean it's two th two sides to it. First of it, first of all, the views is the album from Drake, so it kind of represents um, like that kind of uh, element. The Drake element is is his the views uh, moniker, and then just the still in views also like as a as an action is just taking somebody's audience using a similar sound so that's really what this whole project is is based off like the still in views is like this is the formula nowadays like you know um it's 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 easy to create new posts through the internet nowadays i mean if, if you really have the time to think about it um so yeah still in views is the number one single featuring funny mike aka 22 savage um it's uh, the stream has already gone viral before the music video, and it's dropping on World Star, so y'all check that out. Um, it should be up in a couple of days, so if y'all keep me up, if y'all follow me on social media, I'll keep y'all updated. Ain't he funny, man. Real talk. I watch the YouTube. I just got into his YouTube. Yeah, exactly. He, he's doing it. He's doing it. He drove his lane, and he inspired us to. He inspired me to like follow this lane because I saw what he was doing and I peeped it and I was like you know what I've always had these drink comparisons I never had a try um, I was reverting from it because I wanted to find my own sound at right. Zeus but but seeing the way the industry was going I was just like you know what let me try this and it worked just like his thing it worked um, and people just they bought they bought it <laughs> and I'm making speaky man but not uh, additional uh, digital uh, records man can you tell me what it's like uh, digitalgrindrecords.com y'all go check that out you can buy the physical copy straight from there find me on all social medias sign up for the email um, list you know get involved with me um, donate to the to the campaign if you want to if you want to help with the funding just message us let us know how much you love our movement anything feedback is appreciated